Hello everyone, welcome back to another FSD Beta video. We are doing some new testing today. I'm revisiting something from the old times. Uh, this is uh, this area has some reverse lanes. Oh, that guy is going really fast. This area has got a lot of um, reverse uh, reverse lanes in this road, and it's close to downtown. It's actually just north of downtown. If uh, if you are uh, familiar with Calgary and Alberta. Um, V11 didn't do that good in reversal lanes and it doesn't really spot the difference if, if a lane has been reversed or not. If you know reversal lanes or not, I'll put a picture right now and you can have a look. It shows how a lane gets reversed so that during rush hour you can get traffic uh, um, you know, uh, at an additional lane to open up for traffic so that they can go faster. Uh, so I'll speed you up over here until we reach that area and then uh, will showcase uh, if FSD version 12 actually understands reversal lane uh, maybe through the cars that are there or the sign that uh, that shows up on the road uh, and so on and if you haven't done yet please hit like and please subscribe to my channel help me a lot I've done a few drives on 3.3 right now I just got it yesterday uh, did my first impressions and a few um, different uh, intersection turns and stuff. If you want to see that video, I'll link it up on the top right. If you're interested to see anything else uh, specific to version 3.3 in Canada, let me know and I can showcase it. Okay, I'll speed you up over here until we uh, hit this traffic light, pass this traffic light. So this is the route that we're going to take. Uh, basically, we're just going to drive on this Memorial Drive. And then we're going to loop around on the bridge, take this left turn. This left turn is very uh, difficult to take, especially on version 11. Then we'll loop back and go head up, head up north on reversal lanes as well. So, yeah, so we've got the green light over here right now. You can see on the top here, it shows all the green lights with the arrows uh, that specify that those lanes are in, in those specific directions. I'm just monitoring here the... Um, the spacing and the speed management is actually pretty good when you're going on slow roads on city streets. I actually don't find any lot of issues. It's only when you're going extremely slow or extremely fast. I've seen a couple of times in 3.3 where it's really over speeding over 50 and uh, that's uh, that's not great. It should disengage at those uh, times so that it can uh, send back some data about it. So at this instance, you can see it's creeping a little bit over the 10 kilometers an hour for the speed limit, just because the car in front of us has been pushing through a little bit faster, but then it slows down. I mean, it's it's manageable. And I am on assertive. I think uh, the problem is there's a lot of slowdowns with the automatic set speed, so it does kind of uh, slow you down at some opportunities if you're not on assertive. Um, let me know in your com in the comments below if um, you've tested out ch uh, chill or average and uh, figure it's better. I could probably potentially flip to those. Okay, I'm gonna just remove my first waypoint over here. So here you can see the arrows on the top. Right now it's just normal uh, two lanes this way and two lanes the other way. Um, but yeah, at different times of the, during the day, they do reverse lanes. So we're going to be hitting a, a, a right turn over here to get up on the bridge. We'll see how that goes. And this is the correct way of doing it because you can't take a left over here if you notice. Now it's indicating to get take a right. Nicely done, good commit. Ooh, it's kind of blocking this lane right now. But that is actually the right way of doing it. You gotta. I'm not too sure why it's doing that because oh, okay, we are going to take a left. This is a flashing green light, so it should commit here. Not sure why it's hesitating. It looks like we still have the. Oh, we don't really need to stop here, to be honest. But this is this is a mistake here because the car in front of us is parked. Actually, it's not uh, moving. 
let's see if it's going to correct itself here. We need to clear the traffic on our left-hand side first before doing that. We've got one, two, three cars. Oh boy, this is not a good one. I wonder why it didn't detect that this car in front of us is parked. It, it is shaded in black. Oh, it does think it's braking. If you look into this, look at that. It presses, it's pressing, it looks like there's the, the brake lights are on and off. Might be also due to the sunlight and the way the sun's hitting the, the car on, a, on an angle. Yeah, it's not gonna do it. Car parked itself behind the parked car. Did not realize that that lane is uh, parked vehicles, not moving vehicles. All right, so now it's going to go straight ahead, and then it's going to spin around. So I'll probably put a stamp here because it's going to take us a while to reach our uh, reverse lane uh, road. I'm going to put a stamp on the bottom here to say when to, what to skip ahead to, what timing, so that we can do that. All right, it looks like it's avoiding something. Why are we turning right? Huh, what is going on? All right, <laughs> I think I'm not gonna go through that. <laughs> what is going on, FSD? It is not having a good time with this route. I should be able to just turn left from here. All right, that is routing properly right now, I think. Even though the planner is not really showing the right, uh... the right route, I guess. Okay, so we've got a chance here. It should go. There we go. Nice. We're seeing a lot of this creeping uh, behavior be behind traffic lights. It does tend to drive fairly slow, around 20 kilometers an hour. Um, it breaks pretty far away, maybe three, four car lengths away, and then starts crawling towards the car in front of us. Now, I'm not really a big fan of that behavior, but at the same time, it's not the end of the world. Okay, got the green light, should be indicating right to go on our right turn over here. Very nicely done. Okay, and we're safe to proceed over here. Nicely done. Here we go. Now on our route, we're going to have to do a, an immediate left after the bridge. Uh, and this bridge has reversal lane capability. Um, right now it's on uh, normal normal traffic. So two lanes one way and two lanes the other way. But um, uh, we should be able, we, the car should take its left, uh, the left turning lane over here because there are three lanes that turn essentially at that uh, left turn that, are, that I'm routed to. V11 didn't tend to really um, take the left or the right, uh, doesn't take the proper lane for the turning. Let's see if it does indicate here and take a left. Because you see the lanes are painted in yellow because of the whole reversal uh, situation. And yeah, unfortunately it doesn't look like it likes to, to encroach into that. And this is where right after these lights we should be on the left turning lane to go left 
we we can actually take this left turning lane but it's not oh there we go and we've got the indicator and it is encroaching onto the onto the car behind me not a very comfortable situation there and this is the infamous turn wow okay it's sticking to the lanes and you can see this turns a little bit um, obnoxious because it's a kind of like a very tight lane and people always like tend to just move I was trying to park here as well interesting okay I'm just gonna disengage here and, uh, and then uh, take it to my next route yeah that was uh, that was very interesting very good uh, behavior um, wonder yeah so that was a really good left turn um, that turn when you have a lot of traffic doing that left turn with three left turning lanes it gets a v11 used to get really confused and it was very unsafe uh, in this situation it did really well but there was not much traffic to be honest um, if I get the chance I'll, I'll do that test with uh, lots of traffic and very fast moving traffic as well it'll be interesting to see I'll skip you forward here we're just going on a straight line until we hit our uh, center street and we're gonna head up north on the reversal lane street again uh, re reversal lane road again and if you haven't done yet please hit like and please subscribe to my channel It'll help me a lot uh, I've got a lot of uh, videos on FSD version 3.1 and 3.3 right now coming out um, enjoy uh, please always try to share them with your family so that you can showcase FSD. And also if you are looking for uh, going for a demo on a Tesla or buying a Tesla, please use my referral code. Uh, I'll note it down at the end of the video and you can um, get your chance to have free premium connectivity for a year. And three months of free FSD. Thanks everyone. Super amazing speed management here on this on this road to be honest. I'm very very uh, Very impressed it tends to not accelerate or decelerate a lot and uh, sit, Sticks to one speed and flows very easily between traffic really enjoy it All right, very good left turn here. Seems like reversal lanes traffic light is off here. It doesn't even indicate. It shows like as, as an empty box on the visual. But the lights are not even on, on the actual street too. But last time with V11, it got confused and switched lanes though, lanes over here as well. It's got to go a little bit faster than just 50 here. There we go. It's speeding up a little bit now. And you can see the markings on the on the road. Actually, with version 11, if if you look back at my videos, it does tend to show yellow lines markings on the on the lanes on the visual. But in this case, it doesn't come up here anymore with version 12. Oh, it's actually flashing. Here we go. It's flashing yellow again. If you notice the visual. It did for a bit and then it stopped. We're going to take a left turn over here. Hopefully it doesn't cut into the third lane. It did that with version 12. Excellent. This is how you're supposed to drive. It's handling reversal uh, lanes very well. I'm very happy with this actually. As long as it just picks the, the usual... Um, traffic um, the usual traffic uh, two lanes on and two lanes off uh, that'll be that's good enough for me to be honest uh, uh, it'll be interesting to test you know the more more uh, edge cases where you know traffic uh, lanes have been reversed or anything like that and see if it does actually work I, I, I would think it would just because of the way the flow of traffic and it kind of uh, looks at um, looks at other cars to to follow through all right, folks, hope you folks like this video and I'll let you go after looking at this nice view of downtown from here. And uh, yeah, if you guys like this video, please hit like and please subscribe. And also don't forget to uh, uh, to watch uh, my other videos on version 13. Thank you folks for watching. Uh, I mean version 12. 
and we'll see you on the next one. Have a nice day.